Hello, my name is Christian Sturm. I'm a scientist in nuclear and particle physics, and today I would like to introduce to you um, a precursor experiment of the compressed baryonic matter experiment that will be an experiment under construction at the Big Fair facility at uh, GSI Darmstadt. And uh, I would like to show you a little bit the technology that we use and what is our present setup that we call mini-CBM. So come with me inside of the cave. Ah, my young colleagues are working here on the rich system. That's a very good occasion. Maybe my colleagues can explain you also our experiment in detail. May I introduce, this is Schweier Roy. She's a student from the Bose Institute in Kolkata. That's very nice that you are here. And that is David Emschermann, our duck coordinator of the CBM experiment. He's a real expert of the whole data transport. So this is the mini CBM experiment. And the beam comes in this direction. And the target is located behind the metal box. And the beam hits the target. And we get a spray of particles, which passes through all these detector stations. And the first detector station is the silicon tracking station. And then we have the transition radiation detector. And after that, we have the time of flight. And lastly, the ring imaging chamber. We also have the projectile spectator detector. So all the data from these detectors are um, processed through proper readout electronics, which David will explain. And our job is to do analysis with these data and do reconstruction and tracking and to learn proper physics from it. Let me explain to you how we take data with the CBM experiment. As you know, we have very high interaction rates in the CBM uh, experimental setup. The data is digitized with individual front-end electronics on each of these detector systems. It is then converted into optical signals, which we transfer through these colorful optical fibers to our data acquisition system, which is located 50 meters away from the cave. You see here the prototype readout system of CBM in a rack. We have more than 400 optical fiber connections between the detector systems in the CBM cave and this readout system here. The data are injected into the entry nodes through PCI Express cards. They are pre-processed here and then transmitted for further processing to the green cube, which is located 300 meters away. It was a pleasure to show you our experiment, the mini CBM experiment at GSI FAIR. And now we are in preparation of the next experiments towards the realization of the big CBM experiment at FAIR. And uh, yes, and if you are interested, please uh, contact us. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye.